hello and welcome to my youtube channel uh, hope uh, you are doing well so in the last part i have covered uh, the installation of the domain controller and uh, dscp and dns in the first part i have covered that uh, so we can say that our ad server is uh, prepared now now the next step in this uh, today's session I'm going to cover is uh, uh, we have to firstly uh, join the SCCM server to the domain then uh, uh, there is a most important thing we have to create a container in the active directory and then uh, we have to give permission accordingly and the third topic which I'm going to cover to uh, cover today is the installation of the prerequisites on the SCCM server uh, that is IAS and some other uh, features which we need to install on that SSM server before moving ahead. So uh, let's start today's session. So for uh, joining the SSM server to the domain, we have to go to our SSM server first. Uh, we have to type here my PC. Right click properties. And here it's right now in work group. As you know, though, you know that uh, we have created our domain controller in last session, and the domain name was KPS Technical Lab. Write it, yes. and we have to get the domain controller. ID and password. And it's better. I'm not created any other uh, ID right now. Only I'm working with administrator ID. The password we have to enter here. Okay. Once it will, uh, it will be able to contact with our AD server. Uh, then the server will be able to join to the domain and uh, it should require to reboot my server uh, let's wait for the pop-up it should come in uh, two to three minutes mostly yeah it's it has come now and it's added to the domain now let's restart my server now this step is completed the next step is we have to create a container and give permission on ad server so for that we have to go to ad server just go to adsi edit this so once you click on that we just connect it to the domain okay. it's connected next under system we have to Create one container. Just please select object container. Click next, and here we have to give the name of that container. That is system management. This is really important step because for extended the schema, we have to create this container. And schema extension is really important for. Uh, uh, this SSM because after schema extension only uh, our SSM server will be able to uh, get all the details related to the devices from this active directory so once we create the container this container has been created we can close this now the next step is our let's go to active directory uh, users and computers Here we have to enable this uh, advanced features. 
now you can see this system folder and under this system folder this is system management which we have just now enabled so for this we have to just go here over task and delegate control click next add here our server name that is SCCM server Firstly, we have to click the object type, computers, click check names, and then you can see the server has come up. We have to We have to just custom task. Select first option, this folder existing objects. And here we have to select full permission. This is really important. We have to give the full, permi full permission on this folder to our server. So once we do that, this step is also covered. Uh, let's log in into our this is the admin ID, administrator ID into the domain. Yes. So the la last and uh, uh, next step is installation of prerequisites on SSM server. That is our IAS, which we need to install on this server. This is also uh, really important prerequisites because without this, uh, server uh, will not be able to communicate. And uh, yeah, so for adding that. Just click on add roles and features. Click next. Next. Server server name. So here we have to select our web server IAS. Add features. Click next. This is also important. We have to select all the features of is uh, psp.net and also bits and one more thing just no differential expression after selecting all these features you can check if anything we have missed here so we can select these two are also important. You can also check this because uh, I have already taken the screenshot. So you can check here like whatever we want to select. So most of the things are there which we need to select here. You can say your uh, authorization, .NET, so everything you need to select here. So that uh, after successful installation, it should work. Yes. If anything not required, then we can uh, remove it in the later stage. But let's install now. Some of the important things is dynamic content compression also required so yeah we have covered almost all the topics or you can say the points
So now let's click on install. It will take around uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, let me just pause it for a minute. Okay, so let's check if uh, all the component installed. Yes, as you can see that installation succeeded on this SCCM server. So we can close this widget and we can close this. And this is about the second part of my this uh, series of step-by-step -step SCCM installation. Uh, in the next part, I'm going to cover uh, other topics or you can say prerequisites for SCCM server like uh, WDS and ADK and then uh, after that there is a SQL server installation also required for this SCCM server. So that also we will cover in the next coming parts. So stay tuned and uh, we'll meet you soon. And thank you for watching this session. Hope uh, it's inform informative and uh, you have got some good knowledge from this session. Thank you for attending the session and uh, see you soon.